What's going on everybody? I know it's been a while since I've uploaded a video, but uh, we finally got uh, finished with all of our Christmas vacation, New Year's vacation, all that good stuff. We got to uh, go up north and do uh, spend some family time uh, up in uh, New Jersey area and uh, did some fishing uh, around some of the Delaware River area. And while I was up there, um, actually uh, tied these uh, little bait fish flies up. We got into fishing for crappie and I was watching this uh, school of crappie that kept chasing little little bait fish. And so I went back and actually tied up. Um, this was the first one I tied. And this was just a really small set of barbell eyes that I, I just tied onto a size 10 nymph hook and put a little, made a little dubbing body here. And I was like, well, I'm gonna uh, keep building on that because obviously bigger fish will eat bigger bait. So uh, the next one I tied was this, this guy here. And this was just a little bit larger, same size eyes. And this was along the lines of the same one that I just tied in the video here. Um, I did actually went back. I just realized that the fly was out of focus for most of the video, but uh, I'll I'll go back and I'm gonna work on that this year. Hopefully, have some better uh, quality camera work for you. And then, um, but this was the this was the second iteration that I did. And those pictures of those crappie, uh, I actually caught on one of the on actually this fly here. And then um, I decided to go a little bit bigger with it. And I just same same hook, just a little bit larger size. And this, uh, I believe, actually, hold on, I can tell you what I tied that. The other one I tied, it was a, um, still the uh, Eric's SA280, but it was a, uh, a size four. And uh, the one I just did was a, uh, a size one. So a little bit of uh, size comparison here. You can see this is the one that I just tied and the one here that I actually fished with and caught those crappie on. But, um, I'm real excited to take this fly out and try to go fish down in the Gulf. Um, I'm hoping to get maybe one or two trips down there this year uh, to get a chance at some saltwater fish. But the uh, the main thing was just trying to get the body shape right the way I wanted it and um, just using that little bit of UV resin to try to keep the shape. And the one thing I noticed if I if I just put a light coat of Flexi UV on there, it would it held its shape really good, but still retained the softness so that it doesn't feel like just a rock hard, almost like fiberglass t kind of feel to it. And uh, it turned out really good. I was really happy with the way these turned out. I'm gonna keep tying them and uh, hopefully get a couple different sizes down. But I like the way uh, that they, they swim on that shorter shank hook. And uh, so I'm gonna keep tying these and keep working on them, try to get a little bit better for them. But I just wanted to make a quick little video. So I haven't made a video in a while. I got a lot of stuff still. Um, we still haven't uploaded the um, my trip to Wisconsin. I've got a ton of footage from that. Um, I really got enough for two videos for that. So uh, I'm working right now on putting that video together with my brother. And um, and then just got a lot of plans. I'm gonna try to do a lot of bass fishing this year. Um, working on my boat, trying to get it done. Um, I've got a 78 Sears Game Fisher that I'm gonna try to outfit kind of like a skiff um, with a casting platform on the front, hopefully a polling platform on the back. And then I'd like to, in the future, be able to take it down to Florida whenever we go down to the Gulf and fish uh, around some of the areas down there. I'd like to go down there in the fall and chase redfish. So that's all stuff that um, we'll see if it happens, uh, but I'm definitely gonna try to make some plans. But definitely gonna do a lot of bass fishing this year. Um, still gonna keep chasing bluegill, which is, what we do around here, I love to chase bluegill in uh, all the little ponds, creeks, and streams. Uh, we're gonna try to do some wade trips on some of the uh, smaller rivers and stuff around. So um, anyway, uh, stay tuned for that. Um, thanks for uh, subscribing to the uh, channel for everybody that's subscribed. And if you're not subscribed, uh, if you don't mind, go ahead and uh, subscribe and uh, hit the notification bell on there for us. Give us a thumbs up if you care to. And um, Hopefully uh, catch you on the next one and uh, we'll try to, I'm going to try to get a video going hopefully every week, if not every week, every other week. And I'm uh, going to try to be a little more consistent this year and try to keep things going. So it just gets hard sometimes with work and everything. But um, I actually got a new fly tying desk here now um, so I can <clears throat> uh, do more uh, fly tying videos. 
I still got to work on the uh, arrangement some and getting it all outfitted the way that I want it. It's kind of a mess right now. And I mean, any of you folks out there that tie, you know how it ends up after you sit at a tying desk for an hour before you know it, you got materials and stuff everywhere, but the, um, uh, I got to get it cleaned up, but yeah, we're getting there slowly and, uh, hopefully, um, we'll have everything up and running. We're going to, uh, hope to, uh, launch a flying gills, uh, website. Uh, it'll be, uh, flying gills, uh, dot com and, uh, hopefully get that up and running. Uh, I believe, uh, the website's up. It's just right now, it just links to, um, the video that we did down in the Gulf, uh, last year. So, but anyway, um, Thanks for checking us out and hopefully uh, come back and we'll have a, a few more videos uh, next time. All right.